Hey guys! Welcome back to another Ragnarok content, but this time it's a different version. I introduce you to the game, Ragnarok V Returns. This game is still on CBT, and as far as I know this is the second test and I've managed to play it for a very short time. During the test, I easily recognize this scene from my childhood. Yes, it's the stalls that people made when they want to trade something. But this time you can directly sell goods without being a merchant class. It really is a good feature and I love this than checking the market. It makes the town make more livelier. Let's have a look on what they are selling. Moving on, let's check the stats system. My class is an archer that's why I build dexterity. It's kinda weird that agility doesn't add more attack speed than what it used to be, but let's just consider it as an early stage, and most stats are still just the same so it's okay for me. Looking at the skills, it feels very different. Although you can see here that I have double shot which is the double straight, charged arrow and hummingbird senses which I think is the owl's eye. Some of the skills are new and kinda refreshing to see. Some of the skills are needed to be crafted via alchemy. I believe these are common ones and all of the classes can also acquire it. But it will take you more time grinding the materials and the zeni cost is kinda expensive for one skill. Looking at the quest menu, you will be overwhelmed with how many tabs are in here. We got the main, sub, scroll, party, guild, class change, event, episode and every day which means daily quests. Then we enter a quest dungeon. If you see some of these pourings that has an aura, just get close to it to have a buff. Different buffs depending on the color variation and the duration is just short so you need to move forward and get another buff. Now let's check them out. I really don't like how they just ended up giving us free Peko Peko mount. I mean this mount should be exclusive to Knight class and it's their signature mount. It's not making any sense and I find it lazy feature. I hope they will change it before they release it globally. Grinding here has no stamina system. You can leave your PC AFK for a long time and get some EXP and materials. Great right? But there are some downsides of this feature. Let's consider the mobile phone users. They will not leave their phones running a game for a long time and with this, they will feel left behind by PC users. Potions here are not easy to obtain since you need to craft it via alchemy NPC, so you will be needing these other consumable to slowly regenerate your HP or SP. Let's check the events. I won't be covering all of it since it's only CBT and the events may change if the game is officially released. But let's take a look on what they have. And now for the gacha. Here we have costumes, pets, mercenary, and cards. The cards attribute looks very weird. Seems like they completely change the attributes with how the class skills are also changed. I find this okay, not surprised. So, how was it? My final thoughts for this game is, it feels not so Ragnarok but other game franchise. They may have the stall feature but that's only it. Their class costumes looks very unusual especially second job classes. And the skills as you see, it's very different. The monsters are disguised as Ragnarok monsters, just look at these Mandragora that is walking towards you. Now for the last part. Should you play this game? 
or pass. I'd say, if you are a veteran of this franchise and want to look for another refreshing Ragnarok game, then it's a pass. You will just be disappointed of how it is completely different from other Ragnarok mobiles that you've played. Also, I just want to point out this cheap loading wallpapers. Seems like they don't put so much effort but let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. Now, if you don't care about the franchise and just want to try the game, then I'd say go play. It's still a fun game nonetheless, and I'm sure the developers will make some improvements once the game is officially released. I may be harsh for a CBT game, but this is the second phase, and for all those who have no, mostly second phase is the final one and the features will still remain as it is. I'm gonna try playing this game once it is officially released, and let's see if we can make some guides. Have an awesome day, and see you on the next one.